these new pictures that came out of the shooting scene where Tupac Shakur was murdered 27 years ago. I don't know why we haven't seen these, but they've been in a vault ever since September 7th, 1996, the night that he and Suge Knight were in that BMW and were fired upon by the white Cadillac next to them on the strip. Suddenly we are seeing pictures we've never seen before. The BMW riddled in bullets, blood on the interior. I want to bring in Greg Kading. He is a retired LAPD detective. He worked on this case. He's one of the OGs. Greg, look, it's, it's all fine and dandy to say, wow, these are new pictures we've never seen before. It's another thing when the picture shows something that the naked eye or the casual observer doesn't understand because the grand jury indicted Dwayne Keefe D. Davis, and they saw these pictures. Is there something in these pictures that's going to be incredible evidence for a jury? Well, absolutely. So the prosecutor within the grand jury um, room would be showing these pictures as visual aids as he's telling the story of what he believed or what he presents to have happened in the murder of Tupac Shakur. So you can see, you know, exactly on the passenger side of the BMW, indicating that the assailants came from the right side of the car. You can see the bullet pattern is spread out, indicating that it's, that it's a haphazard um, drive-by shooting, very indicative of what we see in gang drive-by shootings. So there's a lot of information contained in these photographs, which have been in the police files, that you use to walk the jury through what happened that night. Great, can I ask you, um, I get it when police hold details close to the vest that only the killer would know, and that's why you never find out sometimes until trial about certain evidence. Why was this in the vault until today? Like, why are we only seeing this for the first time? Well, investigators want to protect the integrity of their investigation. Sometimes there's, you know, information that if you disclose to the public, it, it will undermine what you're trying to accomplish. Let's say somebody comes forward and they start talking about a shooting and they say, all the bullets, I was there, I saw it, and all of the bullets were right next to each other. Well, you know that that's not good information because clearly we can see from this evidence that that's not the case. So you don't want to put things out into the public that can make your job more complicated. Yeah, poisoning the witness pool. I always say we've seen that happen. Witnesses saying, uh, I saw it when in fact they saw it on TV. Uh, Greg Kading, I have to leave it there. I know we were going to do a longer interview, but we've got some breaking news. No I'm definitely going to have you back. Uh, Greg, again, one of the OG investigators on the Tupac case. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.